Phoenix remakes are on the way. Uh, so this comes out that uh, Polish studio Forever Entertainment are uh, again teaming up with Square Enix on unannounced, you know, spin that hype cycle, unannounced remakes of Square Enix IPs. Ooh, so the previously they said uh, on a Square Enix. Oh, IP. a. Oh, I thought it was multiple. Mm. Okay, they, sorry, I got that. Wrong. And that's the interesting part here is because that then says uh, we'll get into it, like what that is. Anyway, we'll get into it. So. Then why didn't we write together for a bunch of a bunch of unannounced because remakes they, no, based on A? Because it's multiple rena- remakes based oh. on an IP. Okay, interesting. Uh. Okay, interesting. So interesting. they're remaking it and then they're going to remake well, the remake. Let's, let's get through the rest of the details and I'll explain. Yeah, so they previously made Panzer Dragoons, uh, the remake, and then also House of the Dead 1 and 2. Yeah. The remakes will include new graphics cool. while keeping the same core gameplay. I've heard mass speculation on this, Swinny, but you are the JRPG expert. What What are your thoughts? What's the community saying? Well, what are first they of all, on? we don't know if it's going to be based on JRPG. I just need to clarify. Well, that I as mean, well. Square Enix. I feel like you know. Yes, you're it's a correct. safe bet, but we don't yes. know. Um, yeah. But also, just with the House of the Dead, like those are announced things. Those haven't come out yet. Whereas the Panzer Dragon oh, remake sorry, has sorry. come out, um, and they also. Re- yeah, now it's the remake of Panzer Dragon 2 Zwei, the re, uh, the sequel. So Zwei. Yeah, so that's Zwei. the wording. I was very careful about that to check with what um, the announcement was. Yeah, it was for multiple remakes on an unannounced Square Enix IP. Now, that may just be mistranslation. Who knows? If it is, then obviously it could be anything. But that, that then tells me that, first of all, it's an IP that has multiple games. And likely they're multiple games that are, you know, quite old. So it could be, obviously, I don't know, like, just think of any game that's got a sequel to by Square that hasn't, you know, been, had a a remake already. And then you mm. can just start thinking about it. You know, I wouldn't, they've, they've recently remade Trials of Matter or Seiken Densetsu 3. Um, and then you just start crossing them off at that point. You know, we've got a kind of remaster of Saga Frontier and a lot of the, a lot of the, Saga games in general have kind of had quasi remakes, remasters, so I don't think it's going to be any of that stuff. Um, but who knows? Who knows what's going to be? So, okay, what's, what's the speculation that you've heard? Oh, like everything, man. Like people are talking about Chrono Trigger and all this other kind of stuff. I'm like, uh, I don't think I don't think that would happen. The tough part about Chrono Trigger is sure it could be Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, but most uh, look, I guess if they're if they're remaking. Something like uh, Saga Frontier, then Chrono Cross is much more loved than that game. So, the- Cro- like Chrono Trigger to me for Square Enix is probably the second most important game behind Final Fantasy VII from a like cultural zeitgeist hype that it would have. To me, it would make no sense if they did that. Like, surely they if would want to. If you're not counting Dragon Quest, yeah. Uh. Yeah, but I'm saying in the context of making a remake. In the context of making mm, a remake, enough, I think Final Fantasy VII is definitely number one. I think everyone would acknowledge that. That's before it came out. But I think Chrono Trigger, just given, you know, they haven't really touched it that much. Um, well, they released that horrible Steam port, which was based off the mobile version, which nobody liked. Cause yeah, but that that's like, you know how they almost have different lanes, Square Enix? Mm. It's really interesting. They got their mobile lane, like with Final Fantasy VII, and they're remaking the whole thing in a certain style. It's like really weird how they do stuff like that. I, want I mean, it's to, very successful. I want them so. to make a remake of Urgais. That would be awesome. Mm. Or the total the the get... games would be cool because they're, you know, fighting games, like not RPGs. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying, Mike? No, I was just going to say I'm totally confused about this one. So, with my limited knowledge of German, <laughs> Panzer means like... <laughs> yeah, Panzer. No, Panzer. I'm glad you brought this up. I'm so glad means you brought this up. Panzer. armor slash tank. One of the two from memory. I mean, a Panzer is a tank, but I think the word means armor or something as well. Dragoon is like what? Like the infantry horses or something, but not in German, whatever. And then two is two. <laughs> And then Spy is also two. Yeah, no, no, no. So so the name of this game is like what? Some some armored horse in a tutu? <laughs> like, I'm so confused about this title. Wait, where, Just, did, where did horse come from? Where did you get well, dragon? a dragoon? A dragoon, dragoon, I'm pretty sure, is like a um, it's it's like a, an armored horse unit or something. 
Oh yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I fair think. Enough, I think. Enough. Don't quote no, me. No, no, you're, you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The pe- the best part is the, but two, the two, two two. Well, I mean, yeah, but like I fi- two, you know, two. Square Enix has made like Final Fantasy ten two, so maybe this is yeah. But it's not Spy <laughs> and then two. It's two and then Spy. It's so weird. Yeah, but it might the be the sequel to one. Panzer Dragoon two. No, no. Yeah, in Germany. <laughs> anyway, it's just like I would love to know what they call it over there. <laughs> what like, in German? Ju- yeah, maybe maybe they call it. It'll two. be Spy Spy. No, no, maybe it's two T W O. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, Swinny, you're looking forward to this or are you just keeping an eye on it? I'll keep an eye on it. If it's a game keep I'm interested in, then obviously I'll be pumped. So, uh, it go. sounds like it's probably not too far away from them actually making an announcement. I get the yeah. impression that it's probably something we'll hear within the next few months. Yeah, I don't want to go like off on a huge tangent, but I do wonder if people are still targeting that E3 time, just out of habit, if anything. Mm. <laughs> it's like, oh... You know, June's coming up. Because I, I must admit, when I worked in a business where 30 June was a very important thing because of tax year, I had that in my head for years afterwards. So I was like, oh, I can't go on holiday around 30 June. <laughs> like, So yeah, I kind of <laughs> wonder if the industry is like still geared a little bit like that. Uh, changing gears completely. A uh, little story just about...